Michigan is reporting its highest one day total of new COVID-19 cases in the month of June. 353 reported over the last 24 hours. We've also lost another 18 Michiganders to the virus. Despite the rising numbers, Governor Whitmer today signed an executive order authorizing pro sports to resume, albeit without fans. Now tonight, the CDC is releasing new information about the underlying conditions that can put people at a much higher risk from COVID-19 and also new estimates of just how many Americans have already been infected. Dr. Frank McGeorge here with that update. Frank. Yeah, Devin, the CDC briefed the media today in a phone call. They said based on antibody testing, as many as 20 million Americans may have already contracted the coronavirus. That's nearly 10 times the confirmed number of cases. Nevertheless, that would mean only about 6% of Americans have been infected, leaving the majority of people still at risk, some facing much higher risks than others. Age remains a major risk factor. We know that the risk is a continuum. It's not just the risk of those ages 65 and older. And based on what we've learned, we now understand that as you get older, your risk for severe disease, hospitalization, and death increases. The CDC says there is strong evidence that certain underlying health problems raise the risk at any age. Those problems include cardiovascular disease, chronic kidney disease, COPD, sickle cell disease, type 2 diabetes, obesity, meaning a body mass index of 30 or higher, and any condition that suppresses your immune system, including receiving an organ transplant. The addition of obesity is significant. That puts about 40% of U.S. adults at risk. They also noted complications for pregnant women. Pregnant women with COVID-19 were more likely to be admitted to the ICU and also to receive mechanical ventilation than were non-pregnant women. Based on the data available now, it does not appear that pregnant women are at higher risk of death from COVID-19. While younger healthy people may not be at high risk, the CDC said they are helping to spread the virus to those who are. Now, the CDC emphasized every activity that involves contact with others has some degree of risk right now. And they said everyone really needs to continue to do their part by practicing physical distancing, wearing a face covering when you're around others, especially when you cannot stay six feet apart or when you are indoors. Uh, Doc, I noticed high blood pressure is not on that list. Yeah, you know, the CDC feels that it's one of several health conditions where the evidence is less strong, but things like high blood pressure, asthma, dementia, and stroke might still increase a yeah, person's risk. Back to you. Yeah. All right, Frank.